Hello everybody, it's xwilly763x, and today, as you can tell by the title of the video and what you guys are looking at, we're going to be doing a Altoids 10 Survival Kit video. So if you guys don't know what this is, because I know my channel is more dedicated to a gaming channel and aren't sure what an Altoids 10 Survival Kit is, it's a survival kit that fits into an Altoids 10, pretty self-explanatory, it's just this little thing that fits in your pocket, holds everything you need to survive, well basically. Alright, so let's get started. First, we're going to take off rubber bands. Slide them off. And here we go. Let's move the Altoids tin to the side. But here, we have two large rubber bands, and they're very good for, you know, tying stuff together, tying knives, using it as cordage, stuff like that. Very handy, very helpful. Move those up there. Well, I apologize, I hit the camera. Next, we have another rubber band wrapped around the center like this. This is a normal thick rubber band, used for the same reasons, a little bit smaller, a little bit tighter. Works well. Yeah. Alrighty. We'll move that up there. I'll put it so you guys can see it. Alright. Next, we have the Altoids tin. This black piece of tape you see here is electrical, normal electrical tape. I have some right here. It's just normal electrical tape you can buy anywhere. And that keeps the front waterproof and it works pretty well. So before we crack inside, I'm going to show you guys this. That, see if you guys can see it better if I zoom in. But that is a striker. It's a match striker. And that's used to strike matches. Pretty simple, pretty self explanatory. Just use it to strike matches. That's a match striker. Alright, so here we're going to open it up. So we're going to grab this. And all you do is peel up the tape so it stays sticky. So you can just reuse it anytime. And bam, we opened it up. And now we lift it up. And I want the tin to stay open. Actually, no, that seems pretty good. Alright, so here we go. The Altoids Tin Survival Kit, which you guys are looking at right now. Up top in the casing, taped down with some more electrical tape, we have three razor blades. And the razor blades I actually have in there are these exact ones in my hand right now. So they are normal razor blades. These are actually made by Irwin. They're made for box cutter knives and stuff. Very sharp, very handy, nice to have. I have three of them in my thing right now and my on the top Let's put those back and I actually have another one I don't know where I put it but I, I made it a little different and right here it is actually and this is another one I made and I actually made a little cover for it too a little plastic cover and it's covered in electrical tape easier to grip yeah but that's not what we're talking about so yeah three razor blades up here next we have one needle which is good for sewing up wounds sewing your pack together, sewing stuff, which is very, very good. And here in this little bundle we have right here, actually you can't see it because I kind of chopped them down a little bit, we have waterproof matches. And these are the matches we have. They are the Coleman waterproof camp matches. And they're good, they're waterproof, work well. Yeah. Alright. Next we're going to get into the survival kit itself. Start with this little plastic baggie. So, this little plastic baggie is filled with eyebro Proofing. I don't know if you guys know what that is, but I think that's how I don't know how to say it. But it's pain relief medication. Helps relief pain relief. You know, it's pain relief. Good to have with you at all times. Next, I'm gonna pull these three out. And these are three lures. All right. Here we have three lures, and these are for more my area. You want to pick lures based on your area, and this is usually very good around the U.S. and ponds and stuff. You're going to catch crappie, brim, small fish that you can use to catch bigger fish or for smaller fish. Work well. Key is they stay good in your tackle kit. All right, so we're going to set these aside right here and put the little bag of medication and let's say you 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 make a survival kit closer to the ocean and you don't want to have these fresh water baits this is also good to have right here a sabiki rig it's good for bait fish on the ocean so if you ever want to catch bait fish to catch bigger fish or your bait fish you know stuff like that you might want to have sabiki rigs and that's that sabiki rig all right let's put that back next we have here, I actually don't know why that's tied wrong, but here we have a normal Bic lighter. It's a mini lighter, actually, and just wrapped around some cordage, camel cordage. Good for your multiple different reasons, you know. It's a lighter. Good to start fires. The camel cordage is good to tie things together, stuff like that. So, yeah, normal Bic lighter tied in camel cordage. 
Next, we have a mini pocket knife. And you know, a knife is good for everything. A knife is your best friend. You can use it to cut, you can use it for a lot of reasons. If you're not handy, or you don't, you don't have a little pocket knife with spring action like this one, you know, around at any time, you and you need a different knife, would, would also work well. But if you can find a knife around this size, it would be perfect. And here, I'm gonna actually show you guys the size of it. See if I can get something you can kinda. Here's a normal pencil, full size pencil. It's about from the eraser to the 2HB part, so it's only about that big. Not probably about an inch and a half. A little knife, so you guys can get a good, you know, reading on it. You just want it to be able to fit in there perfectly. But yeah, a knife. Okay, next we have a fishing hook. And we actually have wire leader on it, and that's good to catch bigger fish, salt water, stuff like that. You might need, ow, I just hooked myself a little. Wow. But anyway, yeah, good hook with wire leader. Very good to have with you. All right. Next, here in this tube, it's a straw melted together, and it just has neosporin in there. Neosporin is good to clean wounds, stuff like that. Neosporin. Next, and most importantly, is this. This is a normal mechanical pencil. And what I did was, actually here, let me take the top off. All right, so here, comes off. Set that down for a second. And here we have normal dental floss. The free stuff you get at the dentist is what this is. And I just basically took, the, took it apart and, you know, made this. So normal dental floss. That's stronger than string. If you ever try to break dental floss with your hands, it's really, really hard. It's very strong dental floss. Next, we have a fishing pole. If you guys can see, that's a whole bunch of 30 pound test. Here, I'm gonna show you guys the line I used. 30 pound test, Strand Magnaflex line. And that's good, you know, to tie things together, stuff like that. Here we have an eraser tap to top off the end of my mechanical pencil. You guys can see in there, we actually have a lead weight to go fishing with. But yeah, very, very good to have, guys. And I put an eraser on for the pencil I have in my kit. Alrighty. So here we also have three assorted hooks plus the four. So that's four assorted hooks. Next, we have a huge piece of aluminum foil. And it's, it, it, you know, aluminum foil, you unwrap it and it gets pretty big. I don't think I have to explain that too much. It's a pretty big piece of aluminum foil. Good for grilling your meats. Good for flashing, good for a lot of different reasons, aluminum foil. Yeah. Next, what I find very important that a lot of people don't include in their survival kit is a coffee filter. So, a coffee filter is good for a lot of reasons. You can drain out stuff in your water. So you have a little bit of murkier water in your side of the world, wherever you're at. You need to drain out some muck from your water. It doesn't clean it completely, but it cleans out the most muck in your water. So, a coffee filter is pretty good to have with you at all times. Next, we have a candle. A lot of people don't think of a candle because it's a candle, but a candle is very, very useful. It stays lit longer than a a match, and it it's a little bit more wind resistant. And yeah, candle's pretty good to have. Next, we have a pencil. Just a normal pencil, broken in half, double sharpened on both sides. That way, if one side breaks, you have the other. And yeah, a pencil. And that's why they have the eraser on this, so you can also erase. All right, pencil. Next, you guys can see these are pretty self-explanatory. The thermometer gauge, just in case you need to read your temperature, stuff like that. Make sure everything's good. You don't have to take medicine for no reason. If you think you have a fever, you're just hot. You know, read your temperature. Very good to have. Next, we actually have a very important piece of my Altoids 10 survival kit. It's actually the same wire I have on this hook, just taken off from others. Three pieces of wire, and they actually extend to be out, you know, probably about two feet. And wire is good to have to make snares. Wire is good to have tie things together. Very, very strong. You won't break it. So wire. If you want to find any wire, you can just wire. Good to have. I don't need much explanation. Next, we have this is a safety kit of the safety part. But we have three band-aids. We have three alcohol prep pads and I see people who put like four bandages and two alcohol prep pads you know every time you're gonna use a band-aid you're gonna use an alcohol prep pad so come on three or three 
they have three bandages, three alcohol prep pads. Next, here we have two more lead weights, sinker and another sinker, straight sinker, and this is a ball sinker, so yeah, two more weights, and lastly, we have two index cards, I actually already wrote on these, but they're kind of old, but the only index cards I could find, and these are good for two reasons, just in case you need to write stuff down on them, or just in case you need to start a fire. Everybody knows that paper is very flammable, so you can just light this instead of lighting your, your kindling or whatever, and just put this under the fire, and bam, you have a nice fire started easily and evenly. So yeah, two pieces, they're thin, so they'll fit at the bottom, no problem. Lastly, two more things left, and let's start with this. You already guys know what's left, but here we have another piece of the striker, just in case the other one gets damaged or something, you have another piece. And lastly, we have two nails. Nails are good for nailing things to trees, nailing your pack to a tree, that way no animals will get to it from the ground, stuff like that. You know, nails, you can put things together. Nails, very good. Easy to make a knife with it, and stuff like that. So nails, you always want to have them with you. And yeah, guys, that is my All Twitch 10 Survival Kit. And let me jump that out so you guys will be able to see that. And here I'm actually going to put all the contents of my Survival Kit out. So you're able to see them better. Alrighty. Let's move that. And there you go. That's everything that fits into my Altoids 10 Survival Kit. Lastly, what I'm probably going to do, I'm going to try to shine down one of these sides. Probably going to be the top. But I'm going to try to shine the top or the bottom. Try to get a nice shine out of it. That way I can use it as a reflector. As you guys can see. Hope you guys can see that. But, oh crap. Oh, I don't think you can, but anyway, yeah, there you go. All right, it's already pretty shiny from stock, but if I can use some shine to shine it down, maybe some brass will work, some metal polish to make it shinier, it'll be nice and shiny. Use it as a reflector, and yes, that way you won't need that much aluminum foil, but aluminum foil is good to have to cook your meats. You wrap your fish in it, and you'll have a nice cooked meal. So yeah, one last time, I'm going to go over everything, show you guys what I have in there briefly, but without explanation like I did before that way because I know when I was making it I wanted to everybody to go over everything in the survival because here it is razor blades matches needle very important next we have two index cards we have alcohol prep pads band-aids striker for matches coffee filter pocket knife and also, this is something I also know that I'm going to mention right now. If you don't have a tiny pocket knife like this, another good thing to carry is a pocket knife. Uh, this is a normal pocket knife I just have around me right now at the moment. But here we have a pocket knife. And you guys can tell it's just a normal pocket knife. And this does not fit in this. It just doesn't work. It doesn't fit. It's too big. You know, so what you might want to do is there's screws on the pocket knife. You can tell I actually took one out on right there. I was taking these out. But what you can do is... All you have to do is take out the, the screws and just put the blade in there. The blade will fit in your survival kit no problem, just the blade. And you have a nice blade that will have whole holes, so you're able to attach that with a, to a stick with your rubber band, your cordage, or, you know, your wire. Your wire. And you'll be able to make a nice makeshift knife if you can't fit something like this into your you know survival kit so yeah very good to have let's go over everything else one more last time thermometers aluminum foil lighter weights dental floss pain relief medication hook fishing pole with line and hooks neosporin we have three lures pencil eraser candle rubber bands pocket knife and that's it, guys. Thank you for watching. It was actually 763X. Subscribe to the channel for more vlogs and more videos that you guys might enjoy. Camping vlogs, stuff like that. Gaming is my channel, so if you guys want to see some gaming videos, Battlefield 3, Call of Duty, different games, subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys for watching. It was actually 763X. I'll talk to you guys later.